Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to part two in creating a doubly linked list. So in part one, we just went ahead and created four nodes and connected them all together in a doubly linked list. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple functions that can traverse our doubly linked list, both forwards and backwards, and then print the values that are contained inside the nodes that are in our list. So at the very beginning here, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and define these functions outside of our main function. So in order to do that, I'm going to actually need to take this node definition that we had in the first video, and I'm just going to cut it, and I'm going to paste it just right above our main function here. So we're going to paste it there. So now when we define our functions outside of main, they're going to know what a node is. So let's go ahead and create our first function prototype. And so our first function is not going to return anything, and it's going to be a print function. So we'll go ahead and just name it print forward. And for an argument, we're going to pass in the head pointer. So we're going to pass in a node pointer, and it's going to be the head pointer, so we might as well put head for the variable name for our function prototype. And we'll end that with a semicolon. And so what the print forward function is going to do is it will start at the first node in our doubly linked list and it will print the values all the way through the doubly linked list until it gets to the very last node in our list. So now that we've got that function prototype set up, let's go ahead and copy the prototype and then below our main function, down here, we're going to paste it and we'll get rid of the semicolon here and then we'll do an opening and closing curly brace so the very first thing we're going to do inside of this function definition is we're going to create a node pointer and we're going to name this node pointer temp and then we're going to make it point to the very first node in the list by setting it equal to the head pointer. So that line of code creates a new pointer called temp and it makes it point to whatever node the head pointer is pointing to. And we left the head pointer pointing to the very first node in the last tutorial. So now that the temporary pointer is pointing to the first node, we can begin to print the values that are contained inside of our doubly linked list. So let's go ahead and just scroll down here. And then uh, we're going to just go ahead and uh, create a while loop to print the values inside of our doubly linked list. And so as long as our temporary pointer is not equal to null, we're going to print the values that are contained inside of our doubly linked list by doing a see out statement inside of our while loop and we're going to just print the data that is inside of the node that temp is currently pointing to and then uh, we're going to just print out a space so our formatting looks nice and once we do that then we want to go ahead and move temp to the next node in the list so we can do that by saying temp equals temp arrow next so what's happening here is we create this new temporary pointer, we make it point to the very front of our doubly linked list, and as long as our temporary pointer is pointing to something, so this is saying as long as it's not pointing to nothing, which means it's pointing to some node, so as long as it is pointing to some node, we're just going to print out the data that is contained inside of the node that temp is pointing to, then we're going to print out a space, and then we're going to make the temporary pointer point to the next node in the doubly linked list. So after we're done with that, we'll just print out a new line just so our formatting looks nice. So we'll just see out an end line there. And so now when we go ahead and call this function in our main program, we should see the numbers one, two, three, and four pop up in the screen. So right here, inside of our main program here, let's just go ahead and call the print forward function and uh, make sure that everything works properly. And we're going to pass in the head pointer. And so now when I run this program, we should get the numbers one, two, three, and four printed to the screen because those are the numbers that are contained inside of our doubly linked list. So let's go ahead and just run this and make sure that that is the case. So I get the numbers one, two, three, and four. So that's good. Now let's create a second function that will traverse the list backwards. So we'll start at the tail and we'll print until we get to the head. So what we're going to do there is we'll just go ahead and copy 
this entire function definition here. So we'll go ahead and copy that and then we'll paste it below. So we're pasting it now. And instead of print forward, we're going to call this one print reverse because we're going to start at the tail and end at the head. So for the print reverse function, we're going to pass in the tail pointer. So we'll just type in tail here. And then we're going to make the temporary pointer initially point at the very end of the doubly linked list by saying node star temp equals tail. And then we're going to just go ahead and change this part right here to the previous pointer. And so this should print the doubly linked list in reverse order. So once again, what's happening here is we're passing in the tail pointer into our print reverse function. And then we go ahead and make temp point to the very last node in the list. We're making it point to the same node that the tail pointer is pointing to, which is the last node in the list. And then as long as our temporary pointer is pointing to something, then we're going to print out the data inside the node that our temporary pointer is pointing to. And then we're going to make our temporary pointer point to the previous node in the list until it gets all the way to the very first one. And then it will point to the next previous and that time it will be null, which means that it won't enter this while loop again. And so now when we run this program, if we just go back up here and back in our main function here, let's just go ahead and type in the print reverse function. And this time we're going to want to pass in the tail pointer. And so now when we run the program, we should see the numbers print one, two, three, four from the print forward function. And then we'll see the numbers print four, three, two, one from the print reverse function. So let's go ahead and run that program and make sure that we get those results. And actually I ended up with an error here when I ran this. So the reason why is up here, I didn't put the function prototype for print reverse. So we just need to type in that really quick, print reverse. And this time we're passing in a node pointer and we'll just call this one tail since that's the one we're going to pass in. And so now when I run this program, it should print one, two, three, four, and then four, three, two, one. So let's go ahead and just run it. And here are the results. So the one, two, three, four comes from the print forward function and the four, three, two, one comes from the print reverse function. And so you can see here that the print forward function now prints the values starting at the first and ending at the very last node. And then the print reverse function would be the second line. And you can see that it prints the values backwards from the tail to the head. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope that helps you guys understand doubly linked lists. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.